This app review is brought to you by OtterBox, the makers of the Defender case, which you are looking at right now. Amazing. Check it out, OtterBox.com. So today we're going to take a look at uh, a series of apps called Congress, Congress Plus, and Congress Pro. So basically, there's three different versions at three different price points that come with three different levels of functionality. Um, this, this app is designed or developed to uh, inform you of the different people involved in Congress and the political parties and information on them. These apps are very, 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 very detailed and give you a ton of information, uh, which is really neat. Um, so to get the full list of all the features and everything and everything that's included, you will want to go to uh, iTunes and just do a search for Congress and take a look at the three different levels of apps. Um, but let's load up uh, regular Congress here, which is 99 cents. Uh, Congress in your pocket gives you some information. Um, and so basically, you start out with an alphabetical list here, or you can go and uh, search by state as well. Um, so if I wanted to go to uh, California, I could just kind of jump down here to uh, C for California and check out some information about one of our um, House representatives, get uh, a lot of their information, their website, phone number, contact form, district map, um, a lot of campaign information, uh, biography, all kinds of information that we could get here, um, you know, just based off of this application. I could then send uh, uh, this information as an, um, uh, if I have an update or something that I want to add to um, this application, I would uh, be able to email some information in. So there, it's a user updated uh, information database too. So, but the information's reviewed obviously since it, it's sent in by email. So, uh, not just anybody can add whatever they want. It's going to be verified before it's added. So everybody here in the Congress, State, House, you could do a search, and then there's more here: presidential registration. Uh, just tons of information here, even a blog um, and general news. So even the 99 cent version here has a lot of functionality for you. The um, the plus version, which is 4.99, uh, adds staff and committee information, uh, sponsored legislation, legislation, and yearly updates uh, through the 2010 congressional term. So you can view all of that information. Uh, here within the app. As you can see there, um, you can edit these as well. I didn't mention that before, but you can edit these and drop them in to the uh, quick launch down at the bottom here and click done. Uh, so this application, the plus version, adds a little bit more for $4.99. Uh, you can keep up to date on a little bit more um, information than uh, the regular version for $0.99. Cents. There is a version for $74.99, which um, is, is pricey for an app. But if you are a professional, um, this is what you need. This is a pro version that keeps you updated seamlessly throughout the election and the upcoming first session of the 111th Congress. Other services uh, charge hundreds each year for quarterly printed updates. This is updated all the time. I was reading a little bit of the information off of the app description. Uh, and this is a, a this is a, a discount right now, 25% off. So this app is going to be back up to 99.99. Um, so for all of this information, uh, which is literally thousands of dollars in information in your hands, right in your iPhone, um, it's a great buy. So if if you're watching this app, you know what level of information you need. If you're just an enthusiast, uh, having you know, the regular Congress app for 99 cents, or maybe even if you want quarterly updates, um, or I mean yearly updates, you can get uh, the 499 version. But if you really want all the information and have it updated all the time, then the uh, Congress Pro, which is currently priced at 74.99, is uh, uh, the app for you. So um, it's really cool, you know, you click on the address, and it's going to launch maps so that you can get maps going directly to that location. Uh, let's get back in the app here. A lot of the other functionality it uses 
uh, stuff inside your phone, different apps inside your phone to function. So we can view their website, call their office, uh, the contact form, um, which is built within the app so that we could send an email off to, uh, to them. Um, so it just launches, you know, whatever their contact form is, uh, within the app and a website here, which I like everybody, all of you have seen any of my reviews know that I like staying within the app. Um, but there's just a ton of information here. So regardless of what level you are, as far as your interest in, uh, in our government, these apps are definitely going to be really neat for you. People are being talked about all the time on the news, and we have no idea really how to get that information other than just to do a blind Google search. This puts all the information right in your hands. So definitely check out one of these three versions, Congress, Congress Plus, or Congress Pro. Go to iPhoneAppPodcast.com, which is our website, and uh, if you're going to buy one of these apps, especially the Pro, click on our link that takes you to the iTunes store, um, and that helps support the iPhone app podcast So uh, when you click on those links. So definitely check out these apps. Um, even the $0.99 cent regular Congress version is, is uh, fun to play around with and just read up a little information on some of the names that you've heard before. So that's going to do it for today's iPhone app podcast. We'll see you next time.